Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are taking a look at version control services. And if you're thinking that we already covered this, it looks that way, but the other one was version control systems. This one is version control services. And yes, they have the same initialism, which is confusing, but it's very important to make that distinction because those are two separate things. So version control services are fully managed cloud services that host your version controlled repositories. These services often have additional functionality going beyond just being a remote host for your repos. Git is the most popular and often the only choice for a VCS. And we often call these Git only uh, providers, Git providers. Um, I need to also point out that some people call version control services, version control systems and vice versa. And it just gets really confusing. So I did my best to make that clear distinction between the two. Okay, let's take a look at some VCSs. So the first here is GitHub and it's owned by Microsoft. It's the most popular VCS uh, uh, due to offering, uh, uh, due to its ease of use offering and being around the longest, at least for Git. Um, and they've always been very developer focused and super friendly. Uh, GitHub is primarily where open source projects are hosted and offer rich functionality such as issue tracking, automation pipelines, and a host of other features. I remember the day GitHub came out and I signed up for it because I was so done with using Subversion. Then came along GitLab. So GitLab was an emerging competitor to GitHub and at the time had unique features such as CICD pipeline and improved security measures. This is no longer the case as GitHub is now on par with GitLab. Um, but yeah, at one point, a lot of people were looking at GitLab. Then there's Bitbucket. This one is owned by Atlassian. You might've heard of Atlassian before because they are, uh, the same company that makes Jira. And Jira is the most commonly used project manager uh, for um, people in tech. So, you know, even though GitHub is really great for developers, a lot of companies still use Bitbucket. And the interesting thing about Bitbucket was that they originally hosted Mercurial. So remember I said back in 2005, Mercurial and Git came out? Well, Alatsian adopted Mercurial, GitHub adopted um, Git, and Git won and GitHub won. And so what's really interesting is that Bitbucket then eventually added Git and then sunsetted Mercurial. So everything basically is Git now. There is a, another provider called SourceForge. They're one of the oldest places to host your source code. They existed before GitHub. Um, and they were the first uh, to provide free of charge um, uh, Git repository hosting to open source projects. Um, the only thing about SourceForge is that they never really dominated because they just had so many ads and bad practices. And so it just didn't work out for them. They are still around and a lot of open source projects like to only host there. They might mirror, make a copy to other providers like GitHub. Um, but for the most part, everybody's on GitHub. Um, but there you go.